guys, this is Mark here from PixelFiendTech.com and today I'm going to be doing a room tour for you. Now this is kind of a thank you video for hitting a thousand subscribers, which we hit the other day. Thank you very much for that, it really does mean a lot to me. And please keep on sharing and watching my videos and hopefully we can keep on growing to further milestones. So this is going to be a tour of my room, I'll give you a quick kind of pan now. So this is what I'm going to be giving you a tour of. So basically um, I'm going to be showing you what's in my room. People seem to like watching these kind of videos so I thought why not make you guys a video to say thanks. Now I would kind of like to apologise for camera and audio issues. Um, this is actually the second time filming it. The audio messed up a bit first time because the microphone as you probably heard there is on top and that's usually where I hold the camera. This is a Panasonic Panasonic Lumix TZ10 that I painted spray painted black um, and yeah it's an okay camera but really it's nothing compared to the camera I usually use so apologies for any poor audio and visuals but ah uh, well so as I go around I will link everything I show you that I can find in the description and any videos I've made on things in the room I will of course also link I think that's really it for now, um, so let's get into the room tour. So first here we have my wardrobe, it has clothes in it and a mirror on the front, that's really all I need to show you there. Um, we have some new school trousers there which I got the other day, as school will be starting soon. Here we have some Amazon boxes, not really much to see there, a lamp for producing light. We have things like deodorant, aftershave, we have this beast torch which I just got. Um, don't know if you can re really see how bright that is. Um, it's pretty decent 800 lumens for anyone who's into that kind of stuff. Then we have a pen knife in a little case, two watches like um, a kind of fancier one and a sports one. Then we have some tissues because I had a bit of cold, a coaster, a lantern and my alarm clock. So that's pretty much it for the top of the bedside table. Down here we have things like torches and sunglasses, just random stuff, I don't really use these drawers too much. And then we have more things like knives, rope, um, some spare change and stuff down in there. Then we have on the wall some artwork, it's just a poster in a frame certificate some Man United stuff I would like to say Man United is not my main team I do of course support them I support Aberdeen from Scotland but they don't really have as much merchandising and posters so I don't have any of their stuff on my wall but um, I do know Man United aren't doing so well right now so you can give me some stick if you really want in the comments here is a bed my grandpa made this bed so I'm sorry I can't give you a link to that it has a kind of normal mattress or duvet cover on it. Then we have a robe I suppose here and my trumpet. I play trumpet and drums so this is the trumpet I use. Then we have school bag, some shoes down here and some football boots and stuff in here. Another school bag and in here I keep some sports equipment like helmets and swimming stuff. Things like that. Don't really use it too much. Down here we have some midgey nets for camping and stuff as the flies get really bad in Scotland. Um, I would just like to apologise, I'm pretty sure I keep touching the microphone so apologies if the audio is bad. Then we have programmes and stuff that I've built up from watching games. You can kind of see what it's like there. Um, a beanbag and pillow, of course. Uh, two cars and a torch. Um, this torch isn't quite as good. It's pretty huge, it's a mag light, um, it's only like 200 lumens, you can definitely see the light is not as much there. Still a decent torch. Um, then we have a huge sombrero and my massive box collection. So this is just products and stuff that I have had um, and I kind of, if I were, were to really sell them then I can have the original packaging which can push up the resale value. And also kind of like the way it looks. And um, down here we of course have a box of cables because for any tech geek, nerd, whatever, we all have huge collections of cables and we all need a box to put them in. Then we have my little puppet dude that I got on holiday probably like 10 years ago. Um, you can see him there actually looks kind of creepy. Up here we have some 
I don't know, stuff I've collected over the years. So we have some horns, a little plane, um, a windmill, an antler, a bongo, a vuvuzela, and kind of stuff like that. And that's it for that side of the room. I'll come back here and give you a little pan. Um, I'm not sure if this is focusing very well, but hopefully it's coming across all okay. So after that we have my door. It is a regular door with some bags and jackets right there. A hat on the handle and here we have a chair next to it that has some clothes on it. And down the back you can see some plugs running along under my desk. Now, I do do a desk tour once a year, um, so um, this is a totally different setup from when I last did it. I'll try and close the curtain here a bit so the lighting is a bit better on the desk, um, but I'm not going to go too in depth here. This is my chair, then we have a microphone here that I use for making videos. It's the Samson CO1U, if that focuses in there you can see the USB studio condenser microphone on the spider shock mount which is really nice and just a generic stand of course this will all be linked in the description we then have a practice pad for drumming and I have drumsticks um, behind it so you can see I can practice um, some stuff on that um, when I'm not on my drum kit so then down here we have a Bear Grylls assisted opening knife it's not the best knife, but for the price, it's fairly decent and it's fun to play with. We then have two battery packs for charging things, 5000 milliamp hour and 20,000. They're really, really handy for traveling and things like that. Then we have a wallet and some stickers that I've acquired from buying paint and shoes. Then we have my little mascot dude. He doesn't really have a name, but whatever, I like him on my desk and my two screens which have nothing on them at the moment because my laptop isn't on. We then have mouse, keyboard and some cables running up the back from down here. Now this is not too tidy. We have my Sony Vio here, um, C series, it's quite old. You can see it there and some charging and stuff going on down there. Once we get back up here we have my iPhone and iPad rocking the orange and black iCarbon skins which um, I did a review on not too long ago then we have Apple headphones and my speaker it's pretty cheap speaker it does the job we then have a book and some stationary stuff there theory um, car test because hopefully I'll be learning to drive soon and a notepad that I just jot down some video ideas then we have some really cheap and rubbish skull candy headphones that I have attached to my computer um, I would purchase something better, but I don't really want to spend the money right now. We then have a small filing cabinet with some really boring stuff in it that I'm not going to show you. iPod 3rd Gen. I don't even know if this still works. I just like keeping it. Um, first device thing I really ever bought, and I don't know, it's kind of sentimental. LED remote control, hard drive, and graphics tablet. Up on the wall we have two phone cases there, both slightly broken but I can use them if I need. Whiteboard and corkboard for um, writing stuff on to remind me and pinning stuff on. Then have a Peterborough football pendant and one from my old primary school. Then opening the curtain you can see outside it's quite a nice day, glorious view out there if that will um, kind of focus in. Then, well this is Aberdeen, Scotland by the way, if you're interested. Then have a radiator, boring old radiator, lamp and some file storage. Okay, so moving on from there, we then have my kind of studio setup, not really. Um, this is where I film things like B-roll, unboxings, things like that. So you most likely recognise this desk if you watch a lot of my videos. So here we have some things I've been working on videos, not really here, this is just a pile of stuff. Here we have the Anker 20,000 milliamp hour battery, that's just the box, the actual battery is the grey one there under my monitor. Then we have a microphone stand I just did a review on, the Samson ND MD5 I believe, of course links will be in the description, and the Perix Peritune. 401 in-ear headphones, which um, I'm kind of liking at the moment. 
Um, not the main headphones I use, but I'm doing a review on them, so I'm just testing those out. We then have the Mikey, I believe it's pronounced, battery grip for the Nikon D55. Um, sorry, the D5000 series of cameras. Then we have some canvases. We've got four A4 canvases here for me to paint on, um, mainly spray painting, some stencils, things like that, and two LED. Okay guys, sorry about that, I had a little interruption, but here we go, let's start back off from where we were. So we have two LED remotes here, as I was saying, and this is the area that I would usually film on, so this stuff would not be here, unless I was of course filming items here. Um, but I would usually film on the surface using this, so this is the Nikon, or Nikon, depending where you are in the world. The 5200, there is a 5300 out now. Um, but this was the newest when I purchased it with the 40mm macro lens. Really, really love this. I believe it's a 2.8 aperture, so that's really nice to use. And we have the New Ear 160 LED thing there, so you can see what that does. It works really well for videos and things like that. Now, this is housed on the Manfrotto fluid head. Um, I really really like this uh, again links and video will be in the description Possibly one of my favorite pieces of video gear. I'll just um, unscrew it here and show you how smooth it is That's how I get some really nice panning shots and um, sadly it is on a Vanguard tripod which after buying it I would now recommend to no one these legs and um, the fixings are really weak and um, it's just not really good for much I would say Manfrotto when you're looking at tripods. Um, in these drawers we have pretty much nothing, this is just an old desk that I use for filming on at the moment and down there we have my camera bag with a spare lens in it, um, some accessories, things like that. I don't really keep much in it but if I'm travelling that would be the bag I use to hold my camera. Down the side we have my slider here, um, I would also usually keep my tripod folded up here but as you can see the tripod is there. Um, down here we have um, a pistol grip tripod ball head, which is okay, again disappointing from Vanguard. I suppose it would be okay for photos, but terrible for video and heavy cameras, so again, would not really recommend purchasing that. Then we have a Rockman microphone, not sure why that's there, and some boxes. You can see the tripod and the pistol grip there with some phone cases on top. We then have a chest of drawers for some clothes and over here we have the case I would keep the camera I'm filming this now on some books trophies uh, a little Apple shrine these are not all my boxes and um, I believe only the iPad mini and the iPhone 5 are mine the rest are all friends and family I just kept the boxes over here we have a slightly broken Joby Gorilla Pod. Um, you can use this for things like point and shoot cameras and GoPros. Sadly not sturdy enough for DSLRs or anything like that. So that is really it for the room. I'll just give you a quick pan around. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I know a lot of people do enjoy room tour type videos. Um, so that's really why I made it. This is a thank you video for 1000 subscribers. I would like you to kind of help me keep growing in this channel because after all this channel would not be here without you guys so thank you all very much for watching my videos and please continue to watch these videos. Please leave comments down below um, for how you want this channel to carry on, what you think about this channel, just really leave your opinion, I would really like to hear it. Please also give this video a like, a share if you enjoyed it as I would really really appreciate that a lot and it would help the channel grow. Thank you very much again for watching. I believe we're actually over 200 videos now, so that's another milestone. Um, so thanks to you guys again. As I said, none of this would have happened without you. Um, I don't really know how to thank you, apart from keep saying thank you. So I'm going to end the video now. Thank you very much for watching. See ya.